plenty of pretty woman bloopers you never knew about. Julia Roberts as Vivian and Richard Gere as Edward became a household name with the release of Pretty Woman in 1990. The movie saw the iconic film couple romance and built an affair in the rich backgrounds of Beverly Hills. It remained one of the best romantic comedies of our times and propelled Julia Roberts to the level of superstardom she enjoys to this day. However, there are plenty of secrets about the movie that even the most die-hard fans are clueless about as they watch the blockbuster film several times. Are you intrigued? So here are plenty of Pretty Woman secrets you never knew about. The movie almost dropped Roberts. Now there's no denying today that you cannot think about the movie without Julia Roberts playing the role of Vivian. However, after she had an initial casting of the film, Disney got the rights for the movie distribution and made an executive decision to remove Julia Roberts from the movie. However, the director of the movie, Gary Marshall, insisted that Julia Roberts was perfect for playing the part of the leading lady, and we're sure glad that Disney listened to Gary and Julia got the role. An unexpected scene. One of the best scenes in the movie was where Edward Lewis had a diamond necklace as a gift for Vivian and he slammed shut the box surprising Vivian. It was Gear who had the idea of closing the box to surprise Julia and it was not part of the script. Julia had a great reaction in the scene and it became one of the best scenes of the entire movie. Her dressing style. Vivian's outfit became the top trending style for many girls while her mini dress, thigh high boots and blonde wigs got everyone's attention but everyone fell in love with her red jacket. Soon, many girls in real life wore the lookalike red jacket and it became a big trend. However, the jacket never made it to the movie. The costume department was looking for a perfect jacket for a scene in the film, but could not find a suitable coat. Someone from the crew saw a girl walking down the street who was wearing a red jacket. He paid the girl $30 for the jacket. I bet that girl had no idea that her casual jacket would end up in the movie and become one of the top trending styles for years. Enjoying the benefits of the movie. One scene saw Julia Roberts driving an expensive car around Hollywood Boulevard. At that time, Julia was 21 years old and she loved the whole experience. Although Julia didn't know how to drive a car very well, the director pushed her to go for the scene. How the drive played out was for the world to see, and she did pretty well driving in the movie. Calling in more security. The diamond necklace that was the highlight of the movie was not a prop and was over $250,000 and was made by French jeweler Fred Hollier. Guards were escorting the necklace to the film. Throughout the shoot, the guards had their eyes on the jewelry the entire time. That bathtub joke? In one of the most memorable scenes of the film, Vivian is belting out hits from Prince when Edward marches in to talk with her. He came in to speak about how much cash he would be giving Vivian, and when she learned the amount, she couldn't control herself and dunk her head underwater. Unknown to Julia Roberts, everyone had a joke planned. When she put her head underwater, Richard Gere, Gary Marshall, and other crew members all ran out of the room. You can well imagine her surprise to see nobody in the room when she came back up. Not so romantic. The movie had a steamy romance going on between the two lead casts. There were many love scenes in the film, and many would not think about any of the actors being shy while watching it. In reality, Julia was extremely nervous at the recording during the steamy romantic scenes, so much so that they had to stop a lot of the scenes as Julia was so tense that she couldn't act in the love scenes. We bet watching the movies you could not have imagined being Julia so shy. An incredible talent. Richard Gere is a genuinely talented and, well, we all know him for his acting. Not everyone knows, though, that he is also an expert pianist. In the movie, Gere's character had to play the piano in the hotel. While the production was thinking about getting a pianist to play the part, Richard surprised everyone by not only playing the piano, but also performing his beautiful composition on the keyboard. It turned out that in his younger years, he played many musical instruments and was an exceptional piano and trumpet player in high school. Was it a fake fight? The director wanted Richard to have a heated moment as the main lead, Edward. He had to have a brief scuffle in the scene with Philip Stuckey, who was playing the lawyer. They required the scene to be intense, but none expected to get things so heated. Richard and his character walloped the lawyer that the lawyer had a crown in his tooth removed. Nobody was expecting such a heated scene, and many wondered whether Richard was playing a role, or was he taking the stage to get back to Philip Stuckey for real. Worldwide Triumph 
When Disney acquired the film in a last minute move, they could never have foretold the mass global success of the film. Julia is a big name now, but back then, she was just a young star trying to make a name for herself. But the movie made $464 million at the box office and became one of the highest grossing films. Most movies, even the hit ones, never get many rave reviews from the critics, but Pretty Woman also wowed some of the sternest critics who all called Julia one of the best new talents. The movie did make Julia the highest paid actress in Hollywood for all of her future movies. Most of the film set was a real set. Many film scenes of Pretty Woman were not in a studio but in actual real places. Many of the upscale locations were the real spots in Beverly Hills. The hotel where the movie had many scenes was Regent Beverly Wilshire Hotel, while other scenes were at Ambassador Hotel, which was demolished in 2005. The elegant eatery called the Voltaire in the movie is authentic and called Cicada. They lived happily ever after. We all know the movie Pretty Woman so well. The end of the feel-good film had Edward running after Vivian and the two embraced on the balcony. The movie truly leaves people with a smile on their faces. But the movie could have been different and a darker version, and not many know about this little twist. J.F. Lawton wrote the original script of the film and called it 3000. The movie was about disturbed people who had psychological problems in a dark past. The movie script was dark, morbid, and had moments that would have had people flinching and crying. But as fate would have it, the darker version never made it to the big screen. The Red Dress That legendary red dress that Vivian carried to the opera was not red at the start. There was a dispute where the debate was that she should wear a black dress instead. Costume designer Marilyn Vance Straker ultimately won the dispute after lots of screen trials, and the red dress became an iconic bit in the film. Saving the Scene in the movie, there were many changes where some scenes went into editing and never made it to the film. However, one scene where Julia played the role of Vivian met an obnoxious salesperson who refused to sell anything to her, and then Vivian repaying in kind with her bulk shopping in the iconic line, Big Mistake, Huge, made it to the movie. It is one of the best scenes in the film. Hair Color Disaster in the bathtub scene, a lot of washing detergent worked to build all the bubbles in the tub. However, that same soap ended up taking off all the red hair color of Julia for real. After filming the scene the next day, Julia Roberts' red hair color nearly faded away, and she had to re-dye her hair. Why they didn't use actual bubble bath is really anyone's guess. Richard Gere was reluctant. Richard's role as Edward was a perfect fit, and no one could imagine anyone else playing that role. But initially, Richard was not too much into the script and had doubts about signing on to the film. However, when he met Julia, he was so impressed by the young, energetic actress that he knows the movie will work with both of them in the lead role. As it turned out, Richard was right, as the couple became one of the hottest on-screen couples and the movie remains a fan favorite to this day. Julia's Double Julia Roberts indeed looked beautiful and pretty woman. Notwithstanding some shady outfit selections from her role Vivian, Roberts succeeded in making them all look fabulous. However, in the advertisements for the show, a body double was employed. Julia Roberts' face was used instead of the body double. Donna Scoggins' legs made it to the original photograph, whereas in the movie, Shelley Michelle's sexy body made it in a few scenes instead of Julia's. Accolades and Awards you cannot name any other romantic comedy movie besides Pretty Woman that got so much recognition and accolades. The movie got four nominations for Golden Globes and Julia won the Best Actress Award. Her award nomination had some other big names like McDowell, Demi Moore, and Meryl Streep. It was indeed a big win for her, more so because a year before that, she won a Golden Globe as Best Actress in a supporting role for her part in Steel Magnolias. Julia was not easy to please. She might be one of the most celebrated stars, but it was tough to get Julia Roberts to laugh on screen in Pretty Woman genuinely. In the scene where Vivian saw I Love Lucy, she coped in, letting out an acceptable chuckle. To get Roberts to giggle, Gary Marshall placed himself off camera and tickled Julia until she was giggling uncontrollably. Her most natural laugh was the improvised bits with Richard Gere that just came out fantastic. Richard Gere wasn't impressed. It took a while to determine who was the best talent to play the role of Edward, but when Gary Marshall concluded he needed Richard Gere to play the role, Richard never felt the same way. He turned down the part many times. The director and producer had to bring in Julia to meet Gere, and all we know now, well, the two hit it off, and how much impressed Gere was with the first meeting with Julia. He wanted to be part of the movie afterward. Not the first pick. Although Julia became the face of the movie and the choice of the director, she was initially not the first pick for the film. The role first went to Molly Ringwald, who had several hits in the 80s including Pretty in Pink and Sixteen Candles. 
However, Molly saw the script as weak, and especially the role of Vivian. She felt the character did not have the appeal that she had hoped for, and thus rejected the movie. Today, she admits that it was one of the biggest mistakes she made, and Julia, who went for the role, became a worldwide phenomenon in acting and Hollywood. A big mistake. Both Portia and Ferrari refused to give their signature cars for the scenes where Edward had to drive around Beverly Hills. They felt the movie had an adult theme, and it could damage their brand image. The brand Lotus stepped in with their signature model, and we bet Porsche and Ferrari must have regretted their decision, especially when after the movie, phenomenal success for Lotus car sales tripled. Subscribe for more.